Yo, what's going on guys? Evil here and today I'm gonna be showing you where to get the Celerity Stone and the Ricochet Rifle in Remnant from the Ashes. So, as I was running around in this jungle map, I uh, stumbled upon this dungeon, Forgotten Undercroft. And it was the first time I actually encountered this dungeon, even though I had a few playthroughs behind me. But uh, yeah, as soon as you enter this dungeon, on that table there's going to be a weapon. There's a boss that's gonna spawn. He's going to teleport and steal that weapon and teleport away from you again. So your job is to kill him and get that weapon back. We don't want people stealing our stuff, do we? So the way this works is every time he spawns, he shows up with like a 13 second spawn. And uh, within that 13 seconds, you can actually damage him. At first, when you don't kill him within those 13 seconds, he will show up as fail. So I assumed I actually failed the quest, but I didn't. So you actually get within those 13 seconds, you have the chance to do as much damage as you can. For me, he actually spawned three times. Well, I killed him the third time he spawned. So I'm not entirely sure if he actually spawns even more, but I just had that feeling at that last location, he was standing near a cliff that he was going to disappear completely. So don't try it out if you have enough damage, guys, kill him. As for the weapon itself, I'm not really a fan of the ricochet rifle, just because of the fact that it actually, it gives you no idea of where the uh, blade is going for. Uh, on most ricochet weapons in any game, you sort of have an idea of where it's going for. So when you shoot at the floor, you always have an idea that it's going upwards again. And I don't have that feeling with this rifle, it is just completely random. You shoot it and the speed on it is so fast that the thing just pops out of the out of the sky and it goes all over the place. So it's not really... I don't see any scenarios in where I would actually use that ricochet thing or where it would come in handy as well. As for the celerity stone, it gives you 25% increased uh, speed for using consumables. So if you haven't spent too many points into a consumable speed, then this might be a good ring for you. However, I've played a few games and uh, I think this is my third playthrough now, so I have enough points and my consumable speed is more than fast enough. Uh, so I prefer to run my 300% critical hit damage ring. If you guys are new and you feel like, you know, everybody's been that part when you're into a boss fight, you want to heal yourself, but it takes forever to do that and eventually you'll die. So if you want to avoid that, I think this ring is going to help you out massively. So the ricochet rifle, he drops from killing the boss, while the ring, he actually uh, was located near the exit of that dungeon for me. It was impossible to miss because it was right next to my spawn crystal. So I'm not sure if that's for you, if, if that is the same case or not. If it's not at the end of the dungeon, turn around guys, look for it. Because I know for a fact that everybody who's done this quest picked up the rifle and this ring in this quest. So if it's not in the end for you, turn around, look for it and uh, make sure to grab that ring. So I didn't spend too much time uh, looking around for a different loot. So that's the only thing I've found so far. If you guys found anything else inside this dungeon, please leave a comment below because then I will go back and uh, see what I've missed out on. So let me know if you guys find anything else or if you had more chances than just three times to kill him. For me, like I said, it felt like he was going to disappear that third time I saw him. And yeah, I didn't really want to take those chances. That's all I can share with you guys. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, stick around for the gameplay if you want to see the exact location of where the Celerity Stone is at. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.